to heal to break out of old patterns to break generational traumas to become aware and then choose new way of living new way of thinking new way of eating new way of having relationships is not a easy work it's the work of a brave heart it, the people who have lion's heart all right so if you are on this journey of breaking old patterns generational patterns healing the shame and you know unlocking your sexual powers sensual powers and reowning your abandoned sexuality and reowning your creative gifts or you're following your creative gifts so you are you know healing your self confidence self esteem and uh, learning how to you know face your fears all this work requires so much of bravery so i want to thank you for being on this path and doing this with me and so many other you know light workers in this video i'm going to share some practices that are must like if you don't have them without that you cannot heal you cannot like your life will be not only heal but your life will also become very like um, not boring but like uh, what do we say there's a word for it uh, you will not have the strength to persevere yeah in short so if you're not subscribed to my channel firstly go and subscribe secondly share my work with other people because these messages are super powerful and helpful if they are helpful for you they are also helpful for other people okay even if you can feel like oh this is simple you know i know it but maybe you know this other people don't so you got to share this with other people and my everything is in the description my one on one session if you want to dive deep you know and have a guidance session or have a therapy session or like you need a confidence boost intuitive guidance or psychic guidance i am your girl link is in the description i my intention for my clients is you know that a, a deep emotional fulfillment that they feel once they work with me that's what i want to offer and uh, now let's begin the video you got to have soothing practices meaning and you can receive soothing through various things it can be through smell like you know putting like various natural fragrances around your house like natural oils or you can receive soothing through laying in grass you can receive soothing by playing in water you can receive soothing by doodling by journaling you can receive soothing by hugging your pet you can receive soothing by being around a water body you can receive soothing by being around right colors okay it's very important you, and your inner child will come out and play with you and you will be able to connect with your inner child better you know a lot of times when, because my bedroom have pink color and a particular shade of pink that i like so my inner child will come out and like give me the truths like something like you know why am i doing certain thing why it keeps going back to certain environments or why it is not coming with me when i'm you know working towards my dreams and all of that when you when i am when i am in my like color like in in a very colorful like my favorite color my inner child really likes it and comes out so it's a very powerful practice to you know having your favorite colors around and it really soothes you right now i'm wearing purple and white it's making you feel something right and you can also receive soothing through dressing up it's going to be very unique for everybody but i just want to amplify the importance of soothingness you know and the practice of creating soothe and ease just excuse me i think i have to sneeze oh i didn't anyway i felt i'm going to but i didn't wow anyway so because when you are diving deep into your traumas it's very difficult okay 
that emotional pain that fear that you know deep grief that shows up so it's difficult but if you have these little little nuggets of soothingness around you it will, you will persevere through you know that deep pain and that uh, ease that is required and um, if hugs up like medicine for people who are emotionally traumatized who are doing this like you know they say rest is very important for someone who has gone through a fracture but when this is emotional fracture touch a human connection a presence of somebody is very soothing also like birds if you cannot have presence of a human being you can have the presence of birds plants nature all right and animals so you're not alone however there are plenty of people you're going to be meeting who are going to give you full presence but i'm just saying if you don't have it right now also um yeah massaging yourself giving yourself massage super powerful you know it soothes you and deep sleep you know prioritizing sleep sleep is something which we often ignore but it's super relaxing and if you are in the beginning of your uh, trauma healing journey and you are learning to stay uh, self care and you also have to one thing that will soothe you is your kindness your compassion and your forgiveness towards yourself while you're not being able to can be consistent because you keep going back into your old patterns or you're not being able to be disciplined you know like something is right for you but you still don't do it while you're breaking all these patterns and these habits you got to be kind to yourself be gentle all right you don't have to punish yourself criticize yourself criticism will not take you far love your gentleness your warmth your ability to forgive yourself and try again tomorrow you know being loving with yourself gently leading yourself into you know progress into changing those habits so that really works and if you want to bring these loving gentle healing harmonious and warm energies into your life and high vibrational energies into your life you should definitely bring my magic paintings in your home when you keep my magic paintings around you in your house in your office space it really amplify the loving gentle healing energies into your um, home and into your life I have four magic paintings one is I am safe I am supported another one is God's ease God's peace God's goodness God's prosperity effortlessly flowing in every area of my life another one is taking a leap of faith on myself and number 4 is I am pure I am an apologetic I own nothing to anybody last two paintings like taking a leap of faith on myself and uh this i am i don't owe anything to anybody i am pure i am free these two paintings are going to be helping you a lot in boosting your self confidence in healing your shame in you know giving you strength to follow your wildest dreams taking like really it will re- these two paintings are going to make you very bold and the first two uh, i am safe i am supported and god's is god's peace god's goodness god's prosperity effortlessly flowing in every area of my life these two paintings are going to be bringing so much peace so much calmness so much ease like oh my god and if you're healing your trauma if you went through lot of violence chaos growing up and there's lot of dysfunction oh my god i i can guarantee like i can bet on anything this i am safe i am supported and this other one painting is going to be super healing for you and you know to make it more exciting for you i've put these paintings on wall clocks on fridge magnets on like big canvases acrylic photo stands link of them is in my description and if my message was helpful i guided you helped you in some way you can also donate leave a comment down below how this video made you feel what are your takeaways and um 
I love you. I am here for you. I'll see you in another video.